Today I'm going to show you how to multiply two numbers written down in standard index form and you need to leave your final answer also in standard index form. So let's look at example 1. We've got 3.2 times 10 to the 5 multiplied by 4 times 10 to the 3. So I'm just going to, first of all just going to change the order around here because when you multiply it doesn't matter which order you do it in. And I'm just going to write it down as if you put the numbers first, 3.2 times 4, and then write down the power bits afterwards. So what we can do next then is just to work out 3.2 times 4. So you can do this using your short multiplication or any other method which you know. So 2 times 4 is 8. That's the point I stay in line. 3 times 4 is 12. So 3.2 times 10 to the times 4 will give us 12.8. And then all we need to do next then is multiply these powers here together. So we've got 10 to the power 5 times 10 to the power 3. So when we multiply in powers, you add the powers at the top. So this will give us 10 to the power of 8. Because 5 plus 3 is 8. Now you might think that is your final answer now but if you remember a number in standard index form the first number has to be, to be between 1 and 10. 12.8 is not a number between 1 and 10. So we need to rewrite the 12.8 as 1.28 times 10. So that will give us 12.8. And then we've still got the times 10 to the power of 8 bit at the end. And again, we can multiply this bit here together so we can tidy it up. So we've got 10 to the power of 1 times 10 to the power of 8. Again, you're multiplying the powers, so you just need to add the two powers at the top, which gives 10 to the power of 9. Thanks for watching.